Hello, it's Lindy here and welcome, welcome into my studio um, for today's virtual studio. So we're going to be chatting about beautiful blankets that you can crochet quickly, which I think for a Sunday morning is a fabulous thing to be talking about. So as we're going through, um, ask me your questions, pop them in the comments or in the chat, depending on where you're joining me. And I have a special web page for you as well. So I'll pop that link into the um, into the comments in this chat. And there's lots of stuff we'll be referring to it. So if you want to open it up on whatever device you're using, your you can. <laughs> and let's dive in. Let's go and have a look at our slides and see what we're going to chat. Too many good things. Where are they? Here they are. Found them. Cool. So we're talking about beautiful blankets to crochet quickly because there's nothing worse than starting a blanket or starting to crochet anything and then it just taking up mental space because it's not finished or space in the back of the cupboard as well as mental space. <laughs> so the idea is to crochet them quickly and then they're done before they can get to that point where they take up mental space or cupboard space. And then you can enjoy using them as well. <laughs> the easy, quick and easy is the way to go. So we're going to explore six chunky blanket patterns. So they're all homely last designs that I've that I've crafted with my hands. <laughs> I suppose even the typing of the pattern is crafted with my hands and photos and everything else. All homely last designs. Um, they all have online courses with video tutorials, and yes, you can mark them complete as you go through the stages, the pro. And um, we'll look at um, and we're looking at, at them in order from the easiest to the hardest. And as you go through each one, you'll learn something new, which I love. I love that it's like you're making you're having the enjoyment of um, crocheting beautiful things and making something for your home that you want to use or to give to someone. Um, but you're also improving your crochet skills at the same time. I love it. And then we'll answer your questions too at the end. So pop your questions through as you think of them. Um, and I will definitely answer them for you. Okay, so, oh, I've already said, ordered from easiest to hardest. <laughs> so thank you with each one. That is the web link for the special page, um, the special web page blog post. And on that, you can actually track your progress. And I'm going to change my screen share and show you how to find it. <laughs> so screen share. Uh, screen share number two is I'm just looking for it in my <laughs> list of things to do from here there it is couldn't find it here it is so this is what it looks like it's called beautiful blankets to crochet quickly and the thing that makes this special is the replay video will be available here later this one that we're doing live now but under that if you log in here into your homely last account um, then under that, you can track your progress as you go through each of the blanket patterns and online courses. And so you can go, yes, I've finished this one and I've finished this one. And, no, I haven't finished this one. I'll go back and do that one. Um, or, oh, this is a new one. I can, I can go and do it. And there is left and right-handed video tutorials for some of them, not all of them. I'm still just in the process of, you'll see the wrapped in love blanket and the diamond blanket. Still just need to get those ones converted across and get them into the new format as well but we'll have a look and see what all the online courses are like as well so how to find this if you go to homelylast.com which looks like this at present that's the homely last web page um, and then click on blog up here um, if you're on a mobile device that'll be under the three little burger thingies will it give me the three little burger thingies yep these here and then go to blog, change this. And then if you scroll down, beautiful blankets to crochet quickly. And there's a photo here of the Makala blanket, a queen size bed Makala blanket made in natural. Talk about more about that soon. Okay, so here you go. Here's how to find it. So this is reference place to go of where to find it. If we just go back to the blog page, I'll just go on a tangent a little bit here. If you joined me or if you missed yesterday's virtual studio, quick crochet patterns is there as well. You've got the same little thing with the online courses and being able to track where you're up to. 
And if you missed the the baby blanket one that I did on Wednesday night as well, it's there too. So you've got those. Okay, let's go back to the slides. Here we go. And we'll just run through this quickly because I did actually just grab these slides from yesterday's virtual studio, but I think it's just worth a refresher about how it all works and how you can track your progress and access the online courses. So first, if there's a login log out button here so you can log into your home Lumas account. If you don't log in, you don't see your progress and you also won't be able to access to the patterns and online courses that you've got access to. Um, you'll see here you've got a progress bar that shows you where you're up to. You can see with this one, I was only 45% complete, but I'd finished the others. Um, and the start button is where to go. Once you click the start button, it will take you to the Crochet Pattern and Online Course page. And from there, if you've got access to it, you can just dive in and get started. If you don't have access to, there's a little bit of information you will be able to see. And there's a button to take you to go and get access. Very handy. So the start button is where it's all at. <laughs> and then when you click on the start button, if you don't have access to the online course, you can click get this course and then you get access to the Crochet Pattern and Online course. Um, I say Crochet Pattern and Online course because there's the Crochet Pattern and the video tutorials which make up the online course. And yes, there is a PDF pattern as well. So if you want the traditional, just download the pattern, print it out or put it on your device and off you go, that is there for you. But if you prefer to use the video tutorials so you can see exactly what to do, that's there for you as well. Um, and sometimes there's crochet charts too. So <laughs> try, absolutely try to cover all bases. So however you prefer to crochet, it's here for you. <laughs> but if you ever have questions, if you feel like you, you can't find something, let me know in the web chat at the bottom right corner. I'm here to help you. Um, and yes, there's a login button there as well. <laughs> And then once you have access, this is what it'll look like when you click on the start button. So you've got your progress bar at the top and then you can scroll down to print the pattern, watch the videos and access everything. And then once you're actually in the online course, <laughs> there's a mark complete button up the top left here. Um, and that's how you tick off each part and you get that progress bar happening over like this here. 91% complete on this one. <laughs> you did want to just print the PDF pattern. This is where you go. You download and print the crochet pattern. You want to watch the videos, each each part or each step, each row <laughs> around <laughs> has a video generally. And then under that, the pattern is written out as well. So if you want to follow along with the words while you're watching the video, you absolutely can. Now let's dive into blankets. Blankets are fun. <laughs> so the first blanket we're going to talk about is the warm heart blanket. And it is definitely the easiest one to make. And I actually designed the blanket and created the online course and the pattern. So you will master the fundamentals of chunky crochet. And there is extra information in the online course if you've never crocheted before. Um, so that if you're absolutely brand new to crocheting, you can just get what you need, whether you get the kit or you get your own supplies, up to you. Um, but you can dive in and make this blanket. And along the way, I explain everything to you about what to do and why. And there's even extra information. <laughs> if you get to the end of row one and you're not happy, it's okay because we all get to that point. <laughs> because crocheting, 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 when you break it down, isn't that hard. It's the same couple of movements over and over again, and they're just in different combinations. It's just building the confidence um, and then building your, well, confidence is probably the first thing. Um, and it's almost like the mental game of, yes, I can do this, or no, I can't, like getting over the, no, I can't do this, to the, yes, I can do this. Um, I absolutely believe that everybody can crochet. But I also believe that sometimes we're not, <laughs> it's not explained to us in a way that works for us or that's easy to understand for us. And so that's why I've created the Warm Heart Blanket Crochet Pattern and Online Course. You master the basic stitches. So I teach you how to get started, how to cast on if you 
you used to that terminology and we do all the basic stitches so you can do a chain stitch you can do a treble stitch and you'll be able to do a double crochet stitch by the end i show you how to fasten off finish everything off and there's that another reason why i love this blanket for learning to crochet is there's heaps of opportunity to practice as well so a big thing with learning to crochet is just building that connection between your head and your hands your mind and your hands get the two working together <laughs> and so this gives you plenty of opportunity to practice the basic stitches too so not only do you do them you can practice them and you'll notice once you make it as you go along you'll get you'll to feel more confident your crocheting will improve and I actually say if at the end of like a, at the end of row one I say don't give up just keep going like even if you think it looks horrible or there's gaps and everything else just keep going and get to the end of row four and when you're at the end of row four you're still not happy pull it out and do it again and everybody that has done that has said to me I was amazed how much easier it was the second time. So just starting to build that kind of familiar, familiarity with the stitches and what you're doing makes the world of difference. And don't be afraid to pull it out and do it again. <laughs> it's definitely worth it. <laughs> so this is the warm heart blanket. The other thing, really good thing that you'll learn doing this is how to join chunky yarns using needle felting. Um, fabulous with um, merino wool. Um, that's perfect. The little um, fibery, minute fibery things felt perfectly. Um, and what that means is there's no bul bulky joins in your crocheting. You've got this seamless one thread all the way through that you can barely find um, in your crocheting. Have I got one here? Hold on. I've got a blank in here in front of me. I'm in the middle of making and I did just do a join. Let's see if I can find it. Yep. There it is. So that's the join that I've done. And you can see, so I've gone from one ball to another, and you can barely see it. Like I can pick it because I knew where it, roughly where it was and what I was looking for, but no one else would be able to find that. Um, so, yes, I teach you how to do that as well. This is what it looks like. <laughs> it's a warm heart blanket made in natural homely bliss. Homely bliss is my chunky merino wool, all fully grown and processed in Australia. It's such a special fiber and it lasts, absolutely lasts so, so well. Um, I've got blankets that I made years ago and I've pulled them out and made them into other blankets and, and I'll show you Pinky's blanket. <laughs> it's my little bit of breeze. She has her own blankets made with Homely Bliss and they still work really well. Same blanket this time made in the charcoal homely bliss and I you'll find there's just one if you think that's too small it's not <laughs> there's a few reasons why I've kept the pattern as one size one is you're brand new to crocheting you don't want to make anything that's too big you want to know that you can finish this um, so it's kind of a nice size to start out with if you're learning to crochet and the second reason is it's actually the perfect size for snuggling on the lounge. <laughs> Absolutely, like pop, pop it, snuggle on the lounge, pop it on your lap, off you go. <laughs> it's not too, so it's not too big, um, but it's not too small. It's a usable size. It's probably what I would call a small usable size, um, but it's not too big of a project that you won't finish it kind of thing. You can definitely build your confidence. Yes, I can make this. Um, and yes, I can crochet because um, once you've made your first thing, you know you can crochet and you've got the confidence to dive in and make other things. Um, so yes, and and the warm heart blanket gives you the basic skills and it's quick too because I'm going to show you how quick it is. And this is just a little screenshot from the video tutorial. So you can see it's really easy to see what the crochet hook is doing how I'm holding the yarn and I'm explaining to you all the time what to do too. And you can pause me <laughs> and go back and watch it as many times as you like. <laughs> and so with all of my video tutorials, you've got the entire thing from start to finish. I record everything <laughs> making the video of making the blanket. So it's not like it's just a little bit and it's like, oh, well, what do I do here? It's like the whole thing is there for you to watch if you want to see how to do 
and you want to follow on and make the blanket at the, the entire blanket with me in the videos and totally do that don't worry you can just dive in and out as you like <laughs> okay so it says it's a snuggle on the lounge size we've talked about it being for learning to crochet this for the first project crochet project is perfect for mastering the basics but do you know what I love making the warm heart blanket. I I don't know how many I've made now. It's just an enjoyable blanket to make and it's stunning. And yes, it uses the basic stitches, crochet stitches, but I'm surprised how many people ask me, well, what stitches are those? Is it a this or is it a this? Just the way that they're put together, it looks really stylish. And that's, that's a design decision that I've made. Like I played around with the best order of the stitches. So they look amazing. Um, and it looks nice on the lounge too. End of the bed, lounge. Friendly <laughs> bliss yarn means you can snuggle up on it and the dogs can snuggle up on it and the cats can snuggle up on it. <laughs> um, yes, lovely blanket. But like I said, the pattern and the online course is there. If you want to use a different yarn, you can. You're just looking for something that's about a centimetre thick. Okay, so yes, we've said <laughs> that it's made with Homely Bliss. It uses a 20, no, that's a 22 millimeter hook. It uses a 25 millimeter hook, which is the same size as the Chunky Scarf Crochet Kit. And so Melbourne Snood, that's what I'm wearing at present. That's made with a 25 millimeter crochet hook. Um, the Mancala blanket that we'll be talking about later is made with a 25 mil crochet hook. Um, so you can use that crochet hook again and again and again. Two stitch markers help you get nice straight edges and the chunky yarn joining kit which we talked about getting getting the nice joins if you did want to make it bigger or smaller change if you want to change the width so either add more stitches to make it wider or make it smaller with less stitches if you want to make it longer add more rows if you want to make it shorter do less rows or if you want to put your own twist on it that's what you can do <laughs> If you're feeling adventurous, if it's not your first crochet project, play around with striping the rows. Um, play around with some different colors um, because the stitch heights vary too. You'll get different heights of rows. So there's lots of lots of ways you can put your own spin on it and make it your own. Now, yes, we'll go back before we dive into the next one. Let's have a look at one because I whipped one up last night. That's what I think about how easy they are to make. Uh, where is it here it is okay so i realized when i was putting the slides together yesterday that i didn't actually have a sample here with me <laughs> so i made one so this is the warm heart blanket made in mina pink and it's lovely and drapey so this is how it looks up close um it is that's better that's <laughs> the thing of the color and it is a gorgeous snuggle on the lounge side. Pop it there. And yeah, I made it last night. I And granted, so I made it last night. I, I do say it takes about, if you're brand new to crocheting, you watch all the videos, you're looking at about 25 hours. Um, But I obviously know the pattern off my heart. <laughs> so I just sat down and I made it last night after dinner. So Yes, it is definitely a quick blanket to make, but even if you watch the videos, it's still not going to take you a huge amount of time. It's definitely, you could do it in a month. You could even do it in a week or a couple of days. <laughs> so that's that one. Let's have a look at its online course, just so you know what to expect with that. So I'll share my screen again. Come back to the special blog page. Okay, if we scroll down, can see here's the online course. So there's the left-handed one and the right-handed one. So choose whichever one works for you. Let's go a bit different. So I'm right-handed, but let's look at the left-handed one <laughs> just because we can. So click on the start button and here's my progress bar. And then what you'll find with all the online courses, there's a crochet pattern up top. So if you wanna just print out the pattern, that's there so just go to click on this one here and it comes up in a separate tab for you perfect for you to print out or download there is a progress worksheet if you want to keep track of where you're up to just on a piece of paper there you go um, but there is the mark complete if you wanted to mark the bits complete and then that will update your 
your progress bar up the top here. And then, then it's about the warm pup blanket. So what we're making, brief overview of how it's made. Because I like, when I'm making something, I like to have a brief thing in my head of what I'm doing <laughs> without having to analyze the pattern. I just want a high level. This is what I'm doing. This is what I can expect. So that's what that is. And it's got the, the high level. This is what we're making, the sizes, the skill level needed. This one is a beginner one. And then under that, you'll see get together your yarn hook and tool. So that in that, I, there's a video generally. <laughs> yes, there's a video. I explain to you what we, you're going to need, what we're going to use. And I definitely recommend getting everything together before you start. Because when you've got a, everything ready, that's one less hurdle for not finishing what you've made because you've got everything you need. You don't have to stop, wait to get something and then start again. Top tip. And there, I am also, in that video, I'm also working on the <laughs> So if you don't have access to an online course, if when you come in, there's that gray box here that's got get this course, you'll always be able to go in and read the about section and look at what you need. So the yarn hooks and tools. So I've set that up specifically so you know, do I want to make this? You can go and investigate. Do I want to make this pattern? Um, and if I do, what am I going to need? Um, and then you can go and get the pattern. Then you're ready to start. <laughs> and then with all my patterns after that and the online courses, under that is the part. So it's, I've broken the making of it up into parts, so bite-sized pieces. And then under the parts are the rows. And even there's a separate spot for joining a new ball. Um, and then we can see here, so there's the video. Remember, this is the left-handed one. So if you're right-handed, it may look back to the front. If you're left-handed, you're going to be going, this is fabulous. It looks right. <laughs> so video at the top, and then under that is the pattern, if you want to follow that. If, you, if you're just learning, I just ignore the pattern. Ignore the words and just watch the video because there's lots of gold in the video. Let's have a quick look at the video. So that gives you an idea of what the video tutorials are like. And you can see there's all, <laughs> the entire thing has video. <laughs> every last every last row has a video. Um, and so I take you through and I show you exactly what to do to make the entire blanket from start to finish. Okay, there we go. So that's that one. What's our next one? What's our next blanket? We've looked at the warm heart blanket. Okay, we're right to move on. So the next blanket is the bliss blanket. And if you came along to, or if you've watched the recording from the Wednesday night session on easy baby blankets, you will have already be familiar with the bliss blanket. And if you've been a homely last person for a while, you may have even made the bliss blanket. I love it. I love its texture. Um, so that's a very close up of its texture. <laughs> I love it. How the, the, by doing it, the stitch through the front loop, um, it creates the beautiful lines. And then we get these swirly things in the middle in between the lines. I just love that. It's almost a lattice type texture. And here's a, just a screenshot from the videos of, on my screen, it looks very big. <laughs> you can see it's got a, it's nice and easy to see what the crochet hook is doing, what's the crochet, what the yarn is doing what's happening with the actual blanket, where to put the crochet hook. So it's nice and easy to see. And that is probably the new format that I'm now doing with the video tutorials. Um, the warm heart blanket was one of my early 
ones with the video tutorials, you, they're still excellent, but I, I have moved to doing camera over, over the top now, I've changed my setup, camera over the top now, so you can see looking down exactly what my hands are doing. Okay, but let's talk about the bliss blanket and then we'll have a look at a couple of them. So there are 10 sizes in the pattern. So everything from a pram size up to a king bed size, um, as well as instructions on how to adjust the pattern and make it with any size yarn or how to make it to the finished blanket to any size. So you are going to use this pattern a lot. You're going to make it again and again and again. The skill level is easy and it's a great one to use to follow on from a warm heart blanket because you'll still get to be practicing your skills and, and creating that link between your hands and your head, as well as learning how to crochet through the back loop and so that you learn a new stitch as well and create that gorgeous texture. <laughs> so I've designed it to be made with homely bliss as well. Um, a 15.75 millimeter crochet hook, so a smaller one. And this is the same size crochet hook as the chunky hearts, the chunky stars, the spring daisies, the bright star. <laughs> So you'll use it for with a lot of different patterns, um, two stitch markers again, and the joining kit. So the same same tools as what you had in the warm heart blanket. You can make it similar to the warm heart blanket. You can make it wider. You can make it longer, shorter. And if you want to experiment and play a bit with some different yarns, like some different shapes and sizes, use the pattern and turn it into dishcloths. Or so use a cotton yarn for that for dishcloths. Why not do it as a bed runner or a scarf or a wrap or a table runner or placemats? Heaps of options, heaps and heaps of options. <laughs> and oh, here's another idea is to make it into a cushion cover. So here I've done two squares, the size of the cushion, and I've just joined them by doing a chain stitch around the edges. Okay, so. Before we move on to the striped bliss blanket, let's actually have a look at some bliss blankets. So in the session on Wednesday night about easy, easy baby blankets, I had whipped this one up the night before as well. So this is it made in charcoal gray with the charcoal gray homely bliss. Um, it has a mate, homely bliss has amazing stitch definition. Look at that. Look at those beautiful stitches. It's Australian merino wool. This does definitely doesn't shed at all. <laughs> you don't get covered in fluff when you're making it. Um, and it will peel slightly. I'll, I'll show you some blankets that have been used a lot. Will peel slightly, but not much. They don't need much maintenance at all. So this is the smaller size. This is a pinky size. <laughs> a pram size. Um, and this is the little snuggle size. So it's about a meter by a meter, similar to the warm heart blanket. So snuggle on the lounge size. And that's in the natural homely bliss. So that's what it looks like up close. Um, and so this one sits on our lounge. This one has been sitting on our lounge for years. This, this blanket has lived in quite a few different houses. <laughs> and you can see there are a few pills. You can see down the side here, a few little pills, not much. Pinky sits on this, <laughs> sits on top of the lounge. And then Pinky sits up on top of the lounge because there's a big window behind the lounge. And she just sits up there, stretches out on her bliss blanket um, and watches the world go by, barks at everything. <laughs> so that's the bliss blanket made in natural. And let's just pop over and have a quick look at its online course. We won't go into quite as much detail as we did with the warm heart blanket because the setup is similar. So bliss blanket right-handed. And then, so same setup. You can see exactly the same kind of thing. Um, the video, this one's actually got quick reference videos. I <laughs> started adding those in. Um, and there's a part for each row. So even if you're making the larger size, so it's a king size, <laughs> up to row 95, there's a video for you. 
And I always put if it's the last row, so whatever size you're making, you know, I stop here. I don't need to keep going. So you can see same setup, um, video, words underneath, um, and video, words underneath. And, and like I just explained about the kind of the different recording setup for the video, so it's a bit different. And with the progress worksheet, here it is. Um, you can record the size that you're making. So you've got that reference there, what it is, the crochet hook size, how many stitches you're counting in each row, what your measured row width is just for checking your tension and any other notes. And then on the next page, there's lots of spots for you to tick off. Go back. And then I said, in the online course that had about how to make it with any size yarn. There's a special training um, and instructions and I take you through exactly what to do to make it with any size yarn. The slides. So that's that, that's what the online course is like. And while we're here, we might actually pop in and look at the striped bliss blanket online course, because it's very similar. It's actually based off, so the striped bliss blanket pattern is based off the bliss blanket pattern. It's just a few variations, but you can see the setup is bit, the online course setup is very, very similar in terms of what to expect. So let's go and talk about that. Let's talk about the striped bliss blanket because I think it's lovely and I have it here to show you. And there's so many different ways you can play with color with this one. So you can see, actually, this is a great photo to show this. You can see the line through the blanket, which is done by crocheting through the front loop only. So it's a double crochet UK terminology through the front loop only. And by doing a particular row in a different color, it puts what's in between those lines, the sticky up lines, it, it puts that in a different color. And then it has a different texture on both sides, which is amazing. Um, and then you can just play with color. Like I did, I think with this one, there's about six different colors and that's done twice. Um, you can do all different color stripes. You can do one, the main color, one color, and then the stripes, one color. That looks amazing too. Lots and lots of options. But by doing one particular row in a stripe, in a contrast color, it just adds to the texture of the blanket. Okay, and it is in one size. So I and I specifically did the striped bliss blanket in one size because each of those color stripes is a hundred gram mini skein of homely bliss. <laughs> I sized the blanket to do that. <laughs> and then the gaps in between, if we just go back. So a stripe is a hundred gram mini skein, and the bit in between each stripe is a 300 gram mini skein. So if you wanted to make it like each month say I'm buying a mini skein and I'm buying a 300 gram skein of homely bliss and say this is my treat each month you can make another part of your blanket month by month it is easy it builds on the bliss blanket because you get to practice um, doing color changes at the start and end of the row I show you exactly how to do that with the chunky yarn joining kit and how to work out exactly where to put the join and, and where to hide it, <laughs> all the bits to do to so you don't end up with a bulky, horrible color change at the start and end of the row. We'll have a look at some. <laughs> look at the blanket. It's made with the same stuff as the Bliss blanket, same crochet hook size, same tool, same yarn. And like with the Bliss blanket, you can play around with dishcloth, thread runner, scarf, wrap, table runner, or placemats. So many options. So let's actually look at one. Here it is. Here is the striped bliss blanket. So this is 1.5 meters by 1.2 meters. So this is like a really big on the lounge blanket. <coughs> Excuse me. It's a multiple people on the lounge blanket or on the bed blanket. I love just how happy the colors are. So you can use whatever colors you like. So the colors I've used for this one, mina pink, vintage purple, gray, indigo blue, mint green and charcoal and then I've just repeated that but I've 
in the online course and the pattern, there's worksheets there. Like I've given you a couple of different options and how much yarn you need for each one. Um, but you can also color them in to see what colors options you want. So that's the size. Let's have a look at some of these color changes on the edges. So you can see it's nice, crisp color changes. Oh, and you see on this side, the stripe is in a little twirly bit. Not so easy to see there, but so that's the twirly bit. And do this so you can see them side by side. On the back, <laughs> on the back, the stripe is on the the raised bit. So it looks it's just a completely different effect. And I thought I would love this side the most, but I love this side just as much. Let's see. There you go. You can see the difference. <laughs> So that's the striped bliss blanket. That feels really nice. <laughs> really nice. But nice and quick and easy to crochet too. And nice and relaxing to crochet the bliss blanket because it's just the same thing over and over again. Okay, let's see. What's our next one? Helps if I actually share my screen with you. Share the slides with you. No, just talk about them. <laughs> The warm, um, the wrapped in love blanket. Oh, let's go back. And I've actually got one of these on my desk. I started making it this morning. Um, this is a very textural blanket. And if you joined me last night, or you've watched the recording of last night's session about quick crochet projects, at the end we looked at the wrap my soul in love. And so <laughs> this actually kind of builds on wrap my soul in love so there's similar stitches similar rows I like I loved the texture of wrap my soul in love and I wanted to see what it was like in one color and so that's why this blanket was born it's not quite a, there is a, I've had to do some modifications to <laughs> wrap my soul in love to make it into a blanket pattern um but that's where it came from it's just the amazing textural stitches um yes beautiful stitches and so this pattern is so popular because <laughs> I think everyone's making it and you can see why like this photo really highlights all the gorgeous textural stitches oh why is it going back that's just a quick screenshot from the video tutorial so you can see it's nice and easy to see everything that's going on and what to do with the crochet hook and the yarn. <laughs> this pattern has eight sizes, so it goes from a tiny or a pram size up to a king size bed. So lots of different ways to make it again and again to wrap everybody that all your favorite people wrap them in love. Um, it's an easy skill level and it will build on what you've done in the bliss blanket and the striped bliss blanket because you'll learn the half treble. There's a bit more crocheting through the back loop this time, not the front loop. Um, and there's the gorgeous cross treble stitches, which would have to be one of my favorite crochet stitches. So yes, you do those. Same again, it's done with Homely Bliss Super Chunky Yarn. This time it's a 22 millimeter crochet hook. And that was a specific design decision just to get the right balance between being the fabric being quite, quite tighter, like the Bliss Blanket, which is absolutely needed to make that, that stitch shine. Um, but not being too big and open and drapey, but still highlight the texture, but don't detract from the texture. <laughs> um, same again with the two stitch markers and the chunky yarn joining kit. You'll get use your jo chunky yarn joining kit so much. You can make it wider by adding more stitches or same, go the other way by doing less stitches or longer by doing more rows. Absolutely play with color with this one and see the highlight the different texture and shape of the stitches with by changing the color um and similar to the bliss blanket turn it into dishcloth make it your own by making a bed runner turn it into a scarf placemats a wrap um, or a table runner lots and lots of options for you to make it your own and let's look at one let's look at the one i started crocheting so this is the little snuggle slides which is about that 1.1 meters this is going to be for me this one because <laughs> i do love snuggling up on the lounge um and i do love gray i love how calm gray is 
but you can see those amazing stitches and the texture. So I've almost, this is the last row of a color repeat. But how cool would that be as a, while we're here looking as a scarf and that's just the first six rows. That would be very pretty. I do like that. <laughs> so I've started doing that one. And if you came along to Wednesday night session, you will have seen this before. This is Pinky's warm heart blanket. No, Pinky's wrapped in love blanket made him in a pink. And it was actually Minna's before that. So Pinky is about 18 months old. She's a Bichon Free, a little white fluffy dog. Um, but before Pinky, there was Minna. And so this was actually Minna's first. <laughs> and so it's had a lot of good use. <laughs> definitely been well used isn't the texture and the pattern pretty um and yes it does it is peeling a little bit um but at the same time it's used and pinky has used this all throughout her puppyhood um so the homely bliss yarn can definitely definitely be used again and again and again and still look good i probably just need to go through what i'll what i tend to do every now and again with the homely bliss blankets is i get the lily brush out or the fluff brush out and give it a fluff um and then any of the bigger bits that are kind of hanging on I just pull them off by hand like that there we go so that's that's the wrap my soul in love and that's the smallest size it uses two skeins two 300 gram skeins let's go and look at another blanket and remember ask me all your questions as we're going through Oh, yes, there it is. I, <laughs> so we're talking about the Wrap My Soul in Love. That's what it looks like. So similar pattern, but just by changing the color of the um, of the rose, you can, it absolutely changes the look of the blanket. Options. Diamond blanket. Now, I, have, I must admit, I don't have a diamond blanket here. So we have lots of good photos to look at. And this the diamond blanket is named because the size is a diamond and it goes from I might actually just stop sharing for a tick while I while I explain how it's made so it starts at a point and it goes so I suppose it fits in the corner to corner but it looks different completely different so it starts at one corner and increases increase 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 get halfway and decrease 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 so it's just the opposite. So you use half the yarn increasing, half the yarn decreasing, and the border is crocheted at the same time. So it's all crocheted in line. So, excuse me, a bit of tea. So once you get through the initial corner, each row has border, center, border, and it has the gorgeous linen stitch in the center. Um, I love the texture of linen stitch and the more solid border to get that real contrast contrast between the linen stitch and the border. And then it has almost a scallopy thing going on right on the edges. Anyhow, let's go back and have a look at it. <laughs> Here we go. So that's the diamond blanket on the lounge. And this was the lounge snuggle size. And you can see down the bottom here that it's all border along and then there's border and you just start to get that center linen stitch, which is done by doing a double crochet, base, double crochet. And then the double crochet is always crocheted into the chain space. But I show you how to do that. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Don't worry about it if that makes no sense to you at all. It just looks pretty. Here's just a bit of a close up of what it looks like. Um, you can really see the gorgeous difference between the center and the border. Borders on the right, centers on the left. And there's Minna posing with the diamond blanket. She was very good at posing with blankets. <laughs> and you can see that, so with this one, I fold, so the first photo I had it open, you can see the diamond shape. This one I folded in in half and put it on the lounge. And it has, I love that the, the rows and the stitches are going on the diagonal. Um, but you can see on the left is the border section and then the gorgeous texture of the linen or the moss stitch through the middle. Definitely a stunning blanket to have on the lounge. It feels nice too. And here's just a screenshot from the video tutorials where you can really see 
that you can easily see what's happening with the crochet hook, what to do with the crochet hook and the yarn and where to put the hook and how to wrap the yarn and all the bits and pieces, as well as its gorgeous texture of the blanket. <laughs> and I just popped these in here just to give you an idea of, so on the left is the, it's the center part made with natural, just to give you an idea of what it looks like and the gray is on the right. So it has four sizes. So this one is a little bit different to ones done in the row because it increases and then decreases. So it's four sizes from one meter square and the largest one is 1.9 meter square. So nice variation there. Um, it is, it, I've left it as an easy one because there is plenty of repetition um, and the video tutorials do show you exactly what to do. Um, and this, with this one, you'll learn and you'll master increasing and then decreasing. You really get the hang of that, as well as choke crocheting into the chain spaces if you've never done that before as well. It's made with Homely Bliss, 22 millimeter crochet hook, which is the same as the wrapped in love blanket. And you'll use your stitch markers and your chunky yarn joining kit again. And you absolutely, if you want to make it your own, you can make it with any yarn size and you use half the yarn to start with and the other half to finish it off. So you'll never be worried about running out of yarn. <laughs> and if you just do the increasing section, you've got a shawl because it's a triangle. So you've made yourself a shawl. So lots of ways that you can play with it, um, make it your own. And it looks really good. It actually, this design, came when I was playing around with some cotton trying to make some washcloth so you can make washcloth anything that's kind of got a bit of a diamond shape to it and moving on to our last oh 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 before we move on let's go and have a look at the diamond blanket online course let's have a look at that there we go so there it is <laughs> Okay, so this is, I think I mentioned this earlier. So the diamond blanket on my course is in the old format, which all the information is there. It's just hasn't quite come across into the new system yet. I'm still in the process of doing that. So if you just click here, it will take you through to the, where everything is. Um, so it's just an extra step to get through to it. So all the same information is here. It's just presented slightly differently. Um, there's the crochet pattern if you just want to print it out um, and then there's the online course and video tutorials and these are slightly different to the other format in the rows are just it's just all one page you can't tick off each row um, but there is always so the row and then so video so here's the row Here's the video for the row and the words underneath, and it's just you go down. And there is a progress worksheet as well. And I have actually with this pattern put in. So if you just kind of want to get into the flow and don't want to just count your rows, you're just going with the flow. <laughs> what the standard pattern is and like how how it changes with each row. So you don't have to once you get the hang of it, you don't have to watch the the pattern or the videos. You just do the standard row is good let's have a look at the progress worksheet for this one because it becomes very handy um if you're just going with the standard row and so you've got the progress worksheet there because of the size there is um it's got quite a few pages to tick off but just staple them together or just print out the ones that apply to your size but yes this will become the same format as the other online courses okay so Let's go and move on and have a look at the Macala blanket, which is pretty exciting because previously it was only um, Homely Life members had access to the Macala blanket pattern and kit, but I've now opened it up for everyone, as in like yesterday. <laughs> and we're doing a crochet along for this one soon too. So we're starting on the 17th of June. It's a fascinating blanket to make and it's actually perfect for doing in a crochet along because of all the different parts and how they go together, kind of the stories unfolding of how it's made. <laughs> um, 
And there's options of whether you just do it the original size or you add the extra border and do it the extended size where the ribs go separate, different directions. It's a fascinating blanket to make. So that's the in the image that you can see there. You can see the ribs in the center run one way and then the ribs on the border run perpendicular or 90 degrees to it. They run the opposite way. Um, that's the little snuggle size made of the original Makala blanket in grey homely blitz. And that's the same blanket just on the end of the bed, just to give you an idea. You can really see how those ribs run in different directions, like perpendicular to each other. So that's the original Makala blanket. And then you've got the option to make it bigger by adding another border. Um, and those ribs on the extended border run the same direction as the center so you, they're running perpendicular to the original border so it's visually stunning <laughs> and interesting to make and so in the crochet log i've decided to make the extended makala blanket so i'll have the extra border and i'm doing the center in spring green that's it there that's going to be the the border of the original Makala blanket and then the border of my extended Makala blanket is going to be indigo blue there if you can see that it might be too small on your screen but anyhow um so I love spring green mint and indigo together and just they're going to look amazing in the extended Makala blanket so this is the Makala blanket this is a queen bed size made in natural so just to give you an idea of what that looks like and that's a close up of seeing what the texture looks like. And the homely bliss yarn feels so soft and squishy and that almost rope like appearance, like it looks ropey, but it's so soft and lovely to wear and, and use and snuggle under. But that almost ropey appearance is what makes it so it doesn't shed because all those little fluffy bits are tied in in the yarn. So twist it in so they can't escape. And that's why I've hardly peeled. Um, it makes it it makes it a yarn that you can use. Like it still feels soft, but it's a yarn that you can use every day. And you you would be surprised how many times I've pulled out blankets and made them into something else. When I made the striped bliss blanket, I pulled out the warm heart blanket <laughs> that I had that had done what felt like six billion markets, lots of six billion, uh, lots of markets, so many markets, and I made it into the striped bliss blanket. So, and the charcoal the charcoal warm heart blanket that we i think there was a photo of earlier on i pulled that out and used that um in the design for the patch blanket which is another blanket that's coming shortly so definitely a yarn you can use again and again and again and you can pull it out and remake it i love that it gives you that option like it's not like it's merino wool so it'll biodegrade eventually and go back to the earth that it came from but it's also, you can use it again and again and again, and it's not going to go yucky. And <laughs> it's just something that can be reused um, and you can breathe new life. And you get sick of your blanket, pull it out, make it into another blanket. <laughs> Lots of grocery fun for everyone. Here's another close up of the gray Makala blanket. You can really see that difference between the, the stitches on the border and the outside and how interesting they are. And here, this is it made in steel blue, which is one of the old homely bliss colors. But this one is actually the first part of the Makala blanket just kept going. So it doesn't have the center piece. It's just the same thing all the way through. So that's one way that you can make it your own um, just by varying, varying the, the pattern and say, hey, I really love making the first part, which is full width. I'm just going to keep going. <laughs> And that probably makes more sense now that we're looking at this photo. So this is kind of our plan of the original Makala blanket. So for part one, so that's the steel blue blanket we're just looking at. So when I made that one, instead of stopping where part one ends on this image, I just kept going. So it just became the full blanket. So full width all the way through. And it's so squishy and lovely. <laughs> so how we make the Makala blanket, the original Makala blanket, if we, if we do part one, Part two is crocheted, just keeps going and keeps crocheting. So a border on the side. 
part three joins on to part one. So just crochets on, on the opposite side. And then part four connects to part three and two. So by crocheting, it connects and then just finishes off. Part five is done separately. Um, and then we join that. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was whip stitch that we join that. And you can see on that image the, how the ribs go different direction. And then you want to take it a step further, you can <laughs> do the extended Makala blanket. So the pink section in the middle, that's the original Makala blanket. So to do the extended section, it's done as a separate border. So part one, so it almost starts exactly the same as the original. Part one is for width. Part two goes up the side. So done in one piece again. Part three attaches to part one. So part one, two, three, and four are all one piece with a big hole in the middle. <laughs> it fits around the original Makala blanket and is sewn together with whip stitch. And it's stunning. Okay. And but if we combine original and extended, there are 16 sizes. Lots of options. Interesting to make this blanket. So the smaller size is a meter by meter. And by the time you put an extra border on the largest original size, which is a king size, it becomes 3.1 meters by 3.4 meters. It's a massive blanket. <laughs> and I put the skill level as intermediate for this because while the videos show you what to do the whole way through, it does require thinking um, just to get the parts started correctly and connected um, with the leaving the spaces and only doing parts and getting things go the ribs going the right way. Absolutely. If you've just done a little bit of crocheting and you're willing to take your time, watch the videos um, and just take your time and work through it, you'll be able to make it because I show you exactly what to do in the videos. Um, but yeah, so yeah, I have said it's an intermediate level just because it, there are those key times starting and ending the parts where you really need to concentrate and get get the the things going in the right direction. Otherwise, it will could potentially go skew it. <laughs> I've designed the Makala blanket to be made with Homely Bliss again. And like the other blankets, there is a kit with everything you need as well, all they're ready to go. It uses a 25 millimeter crochet hook, which is the same as the warm heart blanket, same as the chunky scarf kit um, and the five patterns that are in that. Um, and you'll use your stitch markers again and you'll use your chunky yarn joining kit. Um, ways to make it your own. Like I said, I'm doing the borders in different colors. Um, you could go, one of our fabulous members came up with the idea of doing it like a log cabin style. Like if you, um, like a quilt and a knitted blanket type thing, you can do each part a different color or a few different colors or stripes a different part. Yes. <laughs> or like I said, um, like the steel blue one is make the first part and just keep going. So lots of ways to make it your own. And like I said, there is the crochet along coming up. Ta-da! <laughs> So the crochet along and Zoom catch up, there is three ways to get involved and be part of that. We start on the 17th of June. Have I got words? Yes, there is words. <laughs> so there's three words. So, I, so, so why do it in the crochet along? There's, it's fun to make blankets with other people and I'm really looking forward to it. <laughs> I'm going to make mine. Um, a great community of crocheters you two can be part of. You can get help with your crocheting. So you can ask for help in the Facebook group. You can come along to the Zoom catch-ups and get help in that as well. And if you want a VIP membership, we, we have a monthly Zoom lesson, just one-on-one. -on -one. Um, if, if you wanted the extra level of help with a VIP membership, um, and there are weekly tasks to help keep you motivated. So each week we do a part um, and you can go, right, this week I'm doing this bit done <laughs> next week right on to this week can't do it this week next week I'm doing two parts um but the info the parts are actually there for you if you want to say hey next week I know I'm going to be busy or I know I'm going to be away so I'll do two parts this week you've got that option as well but weekly emails to keep you motivated and on track and it is fun to make the same thing as other people <laughs> especially 
like with my chronic fatigue, I don't get out all that much. <laughs> and even to go to a craft event is difficult when you live in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> so to be able to, to connect with a creative community of other people that love crocheting just as much as I do is absolutely fascinating. So that's why I love the Zoom catch up and the crochet alongs. Um, so yes, we'll go from the 17th of June is when we start the end of August. But I've got an early bird offer for you. There is a website there too. Um, I've got a blog post all about them and Carla Blanket. <laughs> there is an off, uh, early bird offer at present. So I'm actually taking a break. I haven't had a break out of the studio for many years pre-COVID. Um, if we ignore moving time, <laughs> because moving hours isn't a holiday. <laughs> So I'm actually taking a break end of May through to, to middle of June. So order your kit before I go on my holiday. So you've got a week. Yes, it's on Labor Day. So you've got a week and get 10% off with the code new. Um, you can 10% off the pattern or the kit. So there's actually three way, ways to join the crochet along. One is to get the kit with everything you need, um, which includes as a minimum, the yarn and the crochet pattern. And then if you need the hook or the joining kit or scissors, you can add in whatever you need. You can customize your kit to suit exactly what you need. So you can join the crochet along by getting the kit or by getting the crochet pattern and online course. So that's two options, kit, pattern, um, or you can join with a membership. So if you've never heard of the Homely Last membership, they're fun. <laughs> So any level of membership will give you access to the crochet along and all the crochet logs that we do. Um, you'll also get my studio chat videos, my weekly um, little studio chats about what's going on in the life of Homely Last and what's coming up and real behind the scenes information about what it's like as a crochet designer and a small business owner and living in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> we have a lot of fun. Um, and they're recorded for you to watch whenever it suits you. Um, so you can just grab the supporter membership and you can be part of the crochet along in the Zoom catch ups. Um, if you wanted to do a maker membership, which is definitely the most popular, that will give you 10%, an extra 10% off your kit. So you'll be able to use the new code and your maker code. Or you can get, um, and the maker membership will also have access, full access to the online course too. Um, or if you wanted to go and be a VIP member, a Homely Last VIP, you get 25% off your kit, you get access to on, all the online courses that I have and the crochet patterns, a weekly, uh, not a weekly, a monthly Zoom lesson with me, a crochet lesson with me. Um, they are the main benefits, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> There's something else, but anyhow, that's it. So they're the different member options. So you can join the crochet along and, and the Zoom catch up either with the kit, either with the just the crochet pattern and the online course or with the membership. So you've got options. And the Zoom catch ups are fun. We have them on Sundays, um, Sunday afternoons. And it's just a nice time. To, well, you can get help with your crocheting if you need it, or we can just hang out, <laughs> just chat and laugh because there's always laughing going on. <laughs> Video. But let's pop over and have a look at the online course for the Makala blanket. Let's go left handed again. Let's mix things up. Okay, so once you've got your kit or your your kit or your crochet pattern, you can you have to physically sign up for the crochet along so I don't want to send you the emails if you don't want to get them so you, you have to physically come and sign up <laughs> so if you click on this top one sign up for the crochet along in the zoom catch-ups um there's a bit more detailed information there about how it all works but you just enter your details in there click submit and then you'll definitely you're part of the crochet along in the zoom catch-ups and you'll get the emails um but the crochet pattern are not my course looks very similar to the others. So it is in a new format. We've got the about information here and what you need to make it, the progress worksheet for you to print out, and there's all the parts. <laughs> it's a fun one to make. So parts one to six 
are the original Makala blanket and the extended Makala blanket is extended part 1x to extended part 5x. So that's what it looks like and what do the videos look like? Let's have a look at that as well. <laughs> Funny story. Um, so part three, there's a little bit of information at the start just to here's where we're starting and here's where we're ending. Like I like to know the high level of what I'm doing and I put that into my creature patterns and online courses. Um, so some high level information there about what we're making. Um, yeah, what I was saying, funny story about when I was editing the videos and putting them into the new format um, is um, the joining, joining the parts together. It just, it's watching the videos as I was editing and, and putting them, uploading them. It's so methodical. Like it was so relaxing just to watch the video. <laughs> it was really nice. So you can see same setup, video at the top, words underneath and the, the video it's e really easy to see what's going on and what to do the Makala blanket is unique like if you go here you can see where things start and finish it's unique because generally when I convert to left-handed it's just kind of you just flip things around um but because the Makala blanket um has a lot of okay go three stitches oh sorry 10 stitches to the left or go 10 stitches to the right. There's a lot of directional type stuff going on. So it actually has a dedicated left-handed pattern. And also the left-handed pattern, um, it has its own PDF pattern and all the words in the Makala blanket left-handed are specifically there and different to the right-handed because all these left and rights, when you <laughs> put things for left-handed, it's not quite so easy the Macala blanket so it is a dedicated left-handed online course and a dedicated right-handed online course and a separate pdf crochet pattern for left and right-handed so there you go there's some more trivia <laughs> okay and i'm just going to check the slide we're up to question time so ask me all your questions pop them if you haven't already pop them in the comments box Pop them in the chat. I'll just give you a second to do that. And while you're doing that, I'll put the link through to the information about the Makala blanket. There you go. So that link is there to that special web page about the Makala blanket. Um, and you've got that early bird offer of getting that extra 10% off your kit or the pattern if you go that way with the code new and that will end next Sunday. And that's there. If you've got questions about anything at all, ask me now or ask me in the web chat. It's on the bottom right hand corner of every page of the Homely Last website. That comes through to my phone um, and I'll, I will answer your questions as soon as possible about but whatever you ask. Um, what was I going to say? There's another virtual, I think we've got two virtual studios left. You can go back and watch the web, um, sorry, you can go back and watch the replays of the ones that we've already done that in the Homely Last blog. Um, we've got two more coming up next Wednesday night at 7 p.m. We're talking about memberships um, and how they work. Um, and you will be able to get one. You can go and get one now if you want one. I've opened them up again as well. Um, memberships is Wednesday. Next Saturday afternoon is a crochet help session. So grab your crochet ring, whatever you've got stuck in the cupboard that you're frustrated with. Bring it along and I'll help you with that. Um, so that's a crochet help session. So purely the session is all about helping you with your crocheting. And then next, this time next Sunday, I'm hosting a biggest morning tea on Zoom. So it won't be on Facebook. It'll just be come along and join me in Zoom. We're going to raise some money for the Cancer Council. We're going to have some, we'll be crocheting, of course. Um, bring your own morning tea. Um, we're going to have trivia. There'll be a lucky door prize. Um, raffle for anybody that donates either before or on the day um it's going to be some crochet fun <laughs> so that one as well 
So let me check. Have we got any questions? Let's see. It doesn't look like it. No questions. So thank you. Like I said, if you think about something, if you're watching the recording, pop in and ask me. I'm happy to help you. <laughs> so thank you. Thank you so much for joining me today in the Home with Our Studio as, as we've explored the quick homely last patterns and all my courses for blankets, quick, nice, quick blankets for you to make. And so you'll finish them and you can enjoy them and they won't take up mental space or space in your cupboard. <laughs> unfinished we're all about finishing what we start here <laughs> so thank you for joining me in the studio today i hope you've enjoyed this se session and join me next wednesday night as well um hope you have a wonderful day hope there's some brochuring in it for you and thank you so much for being part of the homely less community and for supporting my small business absolutely means the world to me i will be back on wednesday so see you then bye